In this video we're going to do the calculations of when we work in reverse with logs and we've in other words what we're saying is that we've been given the log value and we want to work backwards to get the number such that the log of the number gives the value we've got. So here we know that log x is equal to 0 0.6131 and what we want to do is work out what x is. So we need to understand the definition of a log and being able to change from log form to exponent form and we need to also uh, get our calculator to, to help us out with the calculation section. So here we've got log x. Now we know that log without a base mention means a common log or an ordinary log which is base 10. So that's base 10. So this is in log form now. We have um, a base, we have a number and we have the logarithm which is the exponent. So this, this means this is uh, x equals 10 to the 0 0.6131. Now when we bring up the calculator, you'll notice, I'll just press clear, you'll notice that 10 to the something button is located on the same button as what log is, but you need to press shift to, in order to get that. So we can do this um, calculation now. So we simply go shift and press the log key and you'll notice that you'll get 10 to the something and we need to write the something in and it's 0 0.6131 and equals. Okay, so we know that the number was 4.103 will do. So x is equal to... 4.103. I'll just bring the calculator back up and check that. That's it. Okay, so moving on to the next question. This time we know that the log of x is a negative number. We know we're talking about ordinary log, so it's base 10. So that means putting this back into exponent form, x is equal to 10 to the negative 0.15. And because the exponent is negative, um, if you remember your exponent laws, that means it's going to be 1 over 10 to the 0. So what I'm getting at is that we'll end up with a, a, a decimal value that's between 0 and 1. So let's um, bring up the calculator. Press clear. And we'll do... Um, I'll just press clear. So shift and log will give us the 10 to the power of. Now we've got a negative sign here, so we need to use this key to get our negative sign. This sign over here means subtraction, so it's quite different. 0 0.1525 equals. So our answer is 0 0.7039. Okay, you can always double check these answers. Um, I'll just show you very quickly. Notice there's an answer key here which will bring back an answer. So if we were to press log and press answer and equals, we should, the answer that the number that pressing answer gives was the last answer obtained by the calculator. Notice we're back where we started from. Okay, let's go to the next question. This time we have the natural log of x is equal to 1.7592. Now remember that the natural log is log to base e. So this time we know that x is going to be e to the power of 1.7592. And if we bring up our calculator, you'll notice that 
on the same key as the natural log, we have e to the power of. So, shift and press the natural log key to get e to the whatever power, and we put in 1.7592 equals. So that means the number we're talking about must be 5.8. 079. Okay, so moving on to the next question. Another natural log question, this time with a fraction in it. So I think it's worth changing that uh, fraction there, changes very nicely to a decimal. So we could think of that as 0 0.8. So, and remember that natural log also means the log to the base e. So that means x is equal to e to the 0 0.8. So bringing up our calculator, we'll just do this two ways. Um, we'll do it in decimal and fraction form. So uh, shift and natural log will give us e to the whatever power and we can put in 0 0.8 and we can press equals. So we get the answer 2.2255. If we really wanted to retain our fraction we could go shift and natural log and then we could hit our fraction button and put in 4 down arrow down to the denominator put in the 5 Go off to the side so that you can show the fractions finished and press equals and you get the same answer 2.2255 okay going to the next question where we've got uh, the log of x base 4 is 2.75 now this is very unusual and and um, um, that's why they've, it's been left to nearly last. Very unusual, but using our, our definition of a log and changing it back to exponent form, x is 4 to the 2.7502. And on our trusty calculator, to work that out, we need to press clear. Now, because that's, that's not a common log and it's not a natural log, we're going to need to use our, our key that we, we just do exponents with. So that means we'll be using this key here, which means that we need to put in our base first, 4, and then our raising to the power key, 2.7502 equals. And you can see that... Um, You can see that we've got um, 54.27 as an answer would be would be fine. Okay, moving to the next question. Once again, we've got another strange base. We've got eight, and and so therefore we can't use any of the uh, ordinary log, natural log keys on our calculator. But let's just change this into exponential form. So 3x is equal to 8 to the power of 1.58. We need to do this part now on our calculator and then we can solve for x after that. So bring up our calculator, press clear. So uh, 8 to the power of 1.5 is equal to 26.72 I think we'll um, stay at. So 3x is equal to 27.72 which means that to find x we need to divide both sides by 3 and we get 27.72 divided by 3. Bring our calculator back up. Uh, look, it's... 
I think we'll just leave the answer that we had there and just keep going with this. Divide by 3 equals, so 8.9 or 8.91. So. Okay, and that's all for this video.